What's up everybody? It's time for another cocktail recipe. Here's a new one that's got a lot of stuff involved, but it's pretty damn good. In one of our Test Kitchen live streams, I had a challenge to make cocktails with liquors that I had had trouble with before, stuff I had struggled with, and one of them was Aquavit. We made a couple with Aquavit, and this is one of them, and there's a lot that goes into this, so get ready, because here we go. It's not complicated, it's just a lot of ingredients. First off, we're going to put in three quarter ounce of chartreuse. Weird that that's one of the biggest ingredients in here, isn't it? But uh, whatever, I like chartreuse, so I'm into it. Next, we're gonna put in three quarter ounce of lime juice. Here we go with the lime juice. Three quarter ounce of lime juice. I'm gonna put a little simple syrup in there, just straight up plain simple syrup. I'm gonna put half an ounce of simple syrup in. Shabam. Remember how I was talking about aquavit? Aquavit, I'm gonna put half an ounce of aquavit in here. Half an ounce, half an ounce of aquavit. Maybe just a smidge more. Another liquor that can be hard to work with is Sotol, but we're gonna put some Sotol in here too, and I love this Sotol. The Desert Door Sotol is great, but we're gonna put half an ounce in here. Sploosh. Oh, I smell this. Oh, that smells great. The chief orchestrator of this concoction was Ricky, and Ricky has a small obsession with mezcal, so yeah, he wanted a little bit of mezcal in here as well. So we're gonna put a quarter ounce of mezcal in. Not a lot, just a quarter ounce. Just gives it a little smoky complexion. Oop. Gonna throw all that in a tumbler with some ice, and then we are going to shake it up until it gets nice and frosty. Get that done, get yourself a coop out. See if you can open it, there you go. Then we are going to double strain this into a coop. Always leave my strainer by the sink. I don't know, it's just what I do. Double straining into a coop. Hello, Dolly. Looks like a lemon drop, looks like a lemon drop. Let's give it a taste and see what happens. Ooh, y'all that is really good. Anything that I could have been worried about with the Aquavit and too much chartreuse, none of that happens. It's all really well balanced. That's a, that's a really nice drink. Really nice drink. When we were making this on the live stream, like I said, Ricky, who's one of the bartenders at Water Trade, was just telling me to throw all this stuff in here. And it really was a really good illustration of how Ricky's cocktail making mind works. So we're gonna call this one Ricky's Brain. Which is cool, because this is a great cocktail. Well done, Ricky's brain. I do want to mention the mezcal I'm using is this Nuestra Soledad. It's a really good mezcal. I'm not sure that this would be quite as satisfying if you had a mezcal that wasn't as smoky. I like the complexity that smokiness gives in there, so don't be afraid to use something that's aggressive as far as the mezcal goes. I think it's gonna add a lot to the drink. So that's it, we've got another great cocktail straight from the test kitchen. We do a live test kitchen once a month. You should totally join us. You can be a part of the chat talking about ingredients and names and sitting there with guests. It's a lot of fun. You should be there. My mouth started watering in the middle of that. It was like, <laughs> Here on YouTube, make sure that you like it and share it and tell all of your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notifications whenever new videos come up on the channel. You can also click right over there and see more recipes and cocktails and things that are awesome in the world that will make you a cool person. Not that you're not already cool. I love you just the way you are. Don't go changing to try and please me. Billy Billy, y'all.